It's a good time to bring it up because for weeks now there has been a mystery surrounding the Friday Night Live world. It's a question that's on the whole country's lips. How come big bicep personal trainer Jamie is so crap at the games? Yeah, why? Pick one up. Pick one up. Go, Jamie! Go, Jamie! Woo! Yeah, Jamie! Checking his hair, hair out. No, like maybe it is. Probably well, looking behind. You well, know. we've decided to blame we'll someone for this. Yeah. Right now, we're Thanks. getting on the phone. Right, the I personal. Tr wait what? up, Mike. What's right. wrong? I think I can hear a ninja or something screaming. Oh, <laughs> Where are you going? No, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> what are you doing? I'll just be back in a second. Don't worry about him. Okay, right color. now we're getting on the phone. As I was saying. We've got someone who might be able to shed some light on why Jamie is so crap at the games. Live on the phone from Perth Boys High School is Jamie's old PE teacher, oh, nice. Brian wow. Pitts Herald. Hello, Brian, are you there? <laughs> Hi, Mike, how are you going? It's Mr. Pitts Herald here. Oh, g'day, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. I love the show, Mike. Can I get some tickets to an eviction oh, or something? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll try and sort that out for you shortly. But... Hey, hey, Mike, what's yeah. Gretel like? I love it. That oh. big tall bloke on the show, he's the funniest of them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, this is explaining why he's probably crap at the games. Hey, yeah. listen, we've got some questions for you, Brian Pitzherald. Uh, what's, what, what, was, what was Jamie like in high school? This is Mr. Pitts Herald. <laughs> yes, Mr. Pitts Herald. Right. Oh, right. hey, look, Jamie, look, can I just say, Jamie was a very big... Look, can I just say, Jamie was a very big problem for all the teaching fraternity when he first arrived at the high school. Why is that? Because we only had three mirrors, and he thought we said we had 33 mirrors. <laughs> well, so what was he good at school? Was he good at athletics? Was he good at footy? Was he oh, good what? at anything? Actually, funny you should bring that up, Mike. He, he was actually a six-time champion. Six-time? Of what? At hairstyling. Hairstyling? <laughs> oh, well, that explain. He was also voted most likely to become a champion cheerleader. He was very happy with that. And, and guys, he was also voted captain. Oh, is it, oh, captain, school captain, was he? No, captain of the poetry team. <laughs> oh, poetry. So, so he must have been good at acting, at least, because some of the games involve acting. Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, funny you should bring that up as well, as, as if you've got it written down in front of you there, Mike. <laughs> yeah, um, actually, I do. He was actually in a school production called Grease. <laughs> Great. Oh, right, so he played uh, John Travolta? No, he played Olivia Newton-John, he played Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he got a lot of dead legs and Chinese burns for his mates for that, but... Uh... Well, that, that explains why he was so bad. We'll sort the tickets out for you, mate. Thanks for your call. Let's hear it for Brian Pitzherald <laughs> on Thanks. the phone. Thanks, Hello, Brian. Preacher. Still talking. Yes. Wow. Oh, sorry. I hung up. He's, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> Well, it's Friday night live, ooh la la night here, and we've got to take a short break, but if you know the French story of Notre Dame, I've got a hunch we'll be back very soon, and you're back too. This is Friday Night Live, more trivia. <laughs> Big 
Network Trivia. Welcome back to Ula La Night and Friday Night Live. I'm joined by French Cheese Brie, French Frizzy, and of course, Perry, which is French for Perry. Perry. <laughs> Perry, you were always a shoulder to cry on in the Big Brother house. You were such a help, even if they didn't need it or want it. Yeah. You were it always there. You, came out. You played the mum of the house perfectly, even though you didn't want to be the mum. Yeah. Couldn't help it. At all. You know, yeah, couldn't I help it. I guess it was just your motherly instinct when people was. are down. You, help you'd it. bring them up, you'd give them the right advice. You know, the housemates, you're, they're, they're pretty much been a bit lost without you being there. Was it the right advice, though? Mm. Well, I probably think not. <laughs> but that's why they voted you out. <laughs> you, you know, but. I just then again, gave it anyway. Then again, I just you gave know, it. You, you gave them advice, and uh, apparently they are lost without you. So are they? they need some more advice right now. Oh. Uh-huh. Right now, in. Problem solving with Perry. Yes. It's Problem solving with Perry. Okay. The Let's housemates see. would like to know what to do in these, these certain situations. Take a look at the first one. Okay, let's have a look. Give it your best shot. Dear Perry, a few weeks ago I moved into a share house. It's got girls in it. They say I'm immature. Why are they being such stupid poo-poo heads? <laughs> hey, what do they do? Well, Darren, no. Oh, uh, no, and that's not his name. It's someone oh, else. Well, yeah, we don't anonymous. know who it's from. Okay, well, anonymous. Okay. We don't know who anonymous. it's from, Perry. Yeah. Anonymous. I know it's Darren. But what's your answer? Well, I know, because okay. I lived in the house. Yeah, yes, okay, no right, right, right. I lived in the house. Well, give him the advice. Well, I'm going to give you the advice. Uh, you're 19. You've Breathing. got to be immature. Yeah. Okay. You Breathing. have to be mature, and I'd hate to think that you're not immature. Mm. Yeah. Well, you, no. gave, you gave David a lot of advice, too. No, well, hang on, hang yeah, okay, on. Let me get that going. right. <laughs> hang on a minute. Let me get this right. He is immature. Yep. Yes, you are immature. And I'd hate to think that... Um, he was immature at the age of 80. He's 19 for crying out loud. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's, 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 allowed, he's allowed to be immature. Well, another guy who's a little bit older right. is David. You gave him some advice and he wanted to leave the house. We thought you, we'd give you <laughs> another, another crack at yeah. giving poor old David some advice. Okay. Take a look at his question. Oh, dear Perry, I'd like to remain anonymous, please. Last week, a long-haired girl whose name rhymes with cherry rattled my paddock. If I tell everyone I was doing funky dance moves... Do you think I'll get away with it? <laughs> oh, yeah, so if he just tells everyone it was a dance move, it'll be all right. Is that your advice to David? <laughs> For crying out loud, no, David. The sooner you stop playing it, the sooner you can start dancing it. Okay, well, yep, nice, that's all. Nice. A- another girl in the Big Brother house, I believe, uh, has a bit of a problem. Another one for you. <laughs> another one. <laughs> Dear Perry, a couple of weeks ago my boyfriend was chucked out of our house. I really like him, but the thing is, he has a very funny name. There are two new guys with more normal names, Max and Chris. If I kissed one, would my boyfriend mind? Oh, and is my makeup okay? (laughs) First up, is her makeup okay? Her makeup's fine. It's absolutely beautiful. Go with Chris and and Dave? No, definitely not. Definitely not. You stick with your boyfriend. Loyalty. It's about loyalty. And here's, here's one from Claire. Dear Perry, people keep accusing me of being a prude. I've tried everything, special exercises and even wearing a beard, but nothing seems to work. What the f*** should I do? What what should she do? Is she a prude? Well, I just looked up the word prude at the back here. Definitely not a prude. You don't think she's a prude? No, her and I both aren't a prude. Mm-hmm. How can you be a prude when you're on reality show? No, I prude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's true. She's not a prude. No, we're extroverts, yeah. and at the same time, the beard's okay too. <laughs> okay, the beard's fine. Speaking of extroverts, maybe he's an introvert. Jamie Boy. needs some help from Perry as well. <laughs> like, listen up, Perry man. I like have a medically proven condition. Like, it's called can't pull my pants up elitis. <laughs> And also, I got a small case of can't take my hands off my hair elitis. Like, do you know any treatments? And like, does my hair look fat in this? Like, P-H-A-T fat. <laughs> P-H-A-T. Okay, hair and pants. What should he do, okay. Perry? He's got to stop looking in the mirror because he's absolutely gorgeous. Yep. Mm. And about the pants, he needs to actually start wearing them up under his arm. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sent us an email about that two weeks before Big Brother rang you to tell you you were I going did. on the show. You sent an that email so to Big Brother up late. Did you see that? Huh? Yeah, I did. We got the email. It says, You're kidding please me? put me in the house. I'm better no, than any of these housemates. They all suck. I no, did just, not. just said about the Rubbish, pants. Pull up not. the pants. Okay, is that all the problem? Anyone no, else have any problems that need solving? Actually, there's 
There's one more. Oh, what one is it? One more. Why are you looking at me? No, no, no there's you? one more we don't oh, like. This is from on. Anonymous. So I've got okay, no idea on. who it's Let's... from. Anonymous. It says, Dear Perry, mm. I work on a Friday night television show <laughs> that broadcasts live. Interesting. I can't imagine what network, work, network it is or I could get into trouble. Seriously. <laughs> trouble. <laughs> Continue anyway, on. I have fallen in love with my two co-hosts. They are the most gifted men on the planet. And just being around them makes me feel 